And Flash being down for Showmaker is still quite big as Ooh, Canyon going in again. Yeah, Gumushi still doesn't have his Flash back available as there's the Flash in from Canyon. I think this is going to be first blood and Death picks it up on the Zeri. Go over. 2 T1. All right, final chapter comes through. Faker gonna flash, but immediately the Glacial Prison comes in and Kellen picks up the second kill for D plus gear. Oh, double and vision in the bot side vision for T1 is pretty decent. All right. Oh, no. oh boy. Yeah, trying to get this fight working is in the meantime, a fight towards that bottom side as well. Glacial Prison comes in and Canyon is thinking about just solo killing. Oh no, Showmaker comes around. And so it is going to be the Talia that grabs that one. As now Faker's getting turned on. Another Permafrost, is it gonna come in? The answer's no. Seismic Shove misses and Faker lives. Great vision, but still kind of just holding this Narbar in the position that he wants to. He can auto the Drake to get that into Whichever order he wants, standing in the back of the pit just to spot whether Zayas is going to be lying in wait here. There's now T1 possibly going for that team fight. Cyclone's gonna come through as Kana finds no one with the Nah. Sejuani does lock down the dragon and Depth is now trying to get this team fight to work out. He dodges the ult from Zayas, but nobody else can get out of the way as Zayas is trying to fight it out. The yeah, unbounce, it's, it's, it's all done. He's yeah. gone. Oh, 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 what a game. The entire gold lead just Depth's evaporated dead. in one moment. Faker versus Deft here towards this bottom side, and Deft is just dead. I don't think there's much he can do about this one. He's going to see how much time he can buy, and uh, it's not very much, guys. Deep bust can't go in. Speaking, Baron has started up. Speaking of that dance again, Chronicler, they are going to do it one more time. As, all right, there's the steal pen. What? Deft steals the Baron and the seismic shove. His extraordinary carrier is going to go down as well. And now D plus Kia, they've turned the whole game on its head. Zayas, can he try to fight this? The answer is absolutely not. And Kana's going to pick that up. We need that in ultra slow-mo because I have absolutely no idea what just happened. That might be game. What is going, Chronicler? I know this is a Saturday showdown. I know that we knew this was going to be hype, but I'm just okay. I'm not ready for the pace, let's, man. Let's, let's calm down the power of T1. Neither of these teams really can be in choke points. That's basically what it boils down to. As oh, you might you might call this a depth steal. Zayas, I, yeah. Zayas and Ona finding these angles that what, they but have what been if, able but to. But what if Canyon? It might just be. But what if the Juani flank angle? Oh my God! That gets it in the end. Size oh my Chuck God! Go wide as Canyon. He managed to find Faker. The tidal wave comes in. Faker goes golden. It's not over just yet. As Ona is trying to pick it up. Speaking of picking it up, the. Ultimate to come through from the Yazir almost works, but he is going to go down there. Zayas has found his way in, but Deft is ripping them apart. The GA is now going to come down. Showmaker finds the flash, but not the seismic shove. And it's a double kill for the world champion AD carry. And D plus Kia here in game number one may have just done it. Chronicler, this is why I love the LCK. We get another one of these. We might get another two of these. Please give me two more. Oh Maybe my it's not goodness. even over yet. Yeah, we, we might need a Baron. Uh, we might need to also pick up a soul. Can they clear the wave here? That's the big question. All right, I think D plus here are just going to look for the end. Baker, 15 seconds left to go. 30 on Zayas. I don't think I have the time. pretty low. Kumiyushi trying to get this one done, but it's not going to work. The final chapter is indeed the final one in this game, but not in this series. D plus Kia will take game one. Also for Showmaker and Canyon, the first time that they... Oh, hold up. Yeah, just gonna walk straight in there. They knew as Carrier down to about 300. Kellen bopping and blocking, having a great time. And uh, this early game working oh. out real well as... Was that some, uh, yeah, some we're spamming from Death? Showmaker's on his way. Yeah. He's, and he's running. He's gonna have to get here fast. As, oh, the interruption on the back there from Zayas, who's now gonna start the fight onto Canyon. Blast Cones to get his way out gonna eat some honey fruit, and uh, this might be able to help him in the 1v1. Permafrost going to come through as there is the old back. That was very weird. Don't know what happened really is. We're gonna continue the weirdness underneath this turret towards the bottom side. Gumushi taking a lot of damage, but they're gonna successfully... Lane get... where they're continuously getting shoved in. They're dropping a lot of plates. Also a lot of effort goes over to Ono there, who of course with his dives we have to get a lot done as... Oh, we're gonna contest. Yeah, uh, Canyon, let's see whether he can survive this one. He get, does get in there, but Ono is gonna lock that one down. The buy immediately goes down though. It's a double kill for the Zeri, and Showmaker, the perfect execution's fantastic. Canyon limps away with his life intact, and it's a triple kill. Oh, uh, what were you saying about the bottom lane again? 
a little bit closer in terms of T1's position because obviously what happened was a disaster. Zayas probably just gonna... Oh, no, not even. Kana just flashing in proactively, recognizing that the Counter-Strike didn't get enough done and then running oh. Zayas down. Cassante things. Yeah, nicely done. He has a big lead, right? So uh, already at that point to kill up as then... Canyon just drops a turret in mid, seemingly unaware of where owner is, and owner just comes in, queues, and with that lower health bar, uh, that is definitely a big risk. Carry there on. to secure a kill, and it's oh, a little bit better as Ooh, Guma. Yeah, I think that might be a dead Gumiushi. He's gonna dash, try and get out of the way of this one, but the final chapter's there. It's a drive by. And, uh, Showmaker could have just the greatest time ever. Uh, Ghost was really good at playing utility, and that was really. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna hold that thought. It's immediately the Nami just explodes. Carrier turned into uh, fish food here as the permafrost comes down. Owner in trouble as well. Showmaker collects that one. Perfect execution. Now going to be available as Canyon's diving on in. He wanted to tank that to see whether Showmaker could grab the kill, but instead Showmaker holding off. Now we've got another battle in this mid lane. Let's see whether this outer turret stays alive. Is Cassante immediately going to go down? What well, Nikos Kia is showing it today really points to. Oh, never mind. I might have finished them. I was thinking about giving Canyon praise, so that already... <laughs> uh, that That's on me. As very important Draker, even individual Mountain Drake can make a big difference in how close these fights are. Absolutely. You can see Canyon diving forward. Try and make this one work out. Showmaker standing guard as well. As there's the flash in! Canyon just doesn't want to waste any time. Carrier now going to be out of flash away. Gets the tidal wave in, but doesn't find any joy. Showmaker ultimate now on cooldown. The D plus key and not a lot of buttons left to press. T1. Well, Canyon getting into this Baron pit. The Baron would certainly be a great way to win the game. They're going to start it off. Okay, Ona in the area as we spoke, and spoke about. They're going to try and get the teleport out from Zayas. He's hit level 16 on this Jax. He's absolutely huge and T1 know exactly what's going on. No teleport to come forward just yet. The D plus, they can tank this for an extraordinarily long time as the teleport is going to come forward. Zayas diving into the pit. The Glacial Prison goes completely wide and Faker is traded for Canyon. The Baron secured by the Vi as they dive on top of the Zeri and take her out. Showmaker, the next target to be taken down and he's not going to be able to do anything here. Cassante falls, it's an ace! And T1 destroy D plus Kia. Defensive tools. The depth will require as this game goes on, and already Kana taking so much damage on this Cassante. T1 looking to break open their next inhibitor in line, and this is the textbook way of winning the game. Just break down all the structures as Canyon dives on forward, looks for Zayas, but immediately he gets out of the CC. Now he just turns the battle onto the Sejuani. Death going golden. I don't know whether it's going to be enough. Empress Revive doesn't do anything at all here as the Akali makes their way into the back line. Death. Hiding back and does so beautifully. Gumiushi is now dead as Faker is fighting against Kana. Kana picks it up, finds the Q as well. And Zayas is in trouble. Showmaker backflipping on top of the Jacks. And Carrier is just left to the Wolves. T plus Kia. They do what I was just saying was impossible. From the Nami. And now the Baron is what everyone's worried about. Canyon going to get spotted out him alongside Deft are uh, there as this Baron's getting taken down Come so quickly. They have to get in there. Gumiushi taken down relatively low. Canyon doesn't have ult though. As T1, they're going to teleport in. Showmaker finding himself some sort of flank. Doesn't get the back backflip shuriken. Onto the Jax is now. Oh my God. Kia gets some control of this pit. Canyon is going extraordinarily in. low though. And Showmaker also sitting at half health does make it towards the Shroud as Kana. It's a big knockback. The Empress Divide this time is definitely a lot better. Death is at full health though. Can he manage to get the kill? Counter Strike is just too good. Death trying to stay alive. The GA is going to put him down and he's not going to want to wake up at exactly that area. Kellen goes down as well. T1, yet another team fight, and this one means the game. And we are going to a game number three, Atlas. This be very different. And that's an Orn locked in for D plus Kia. The Twitch support, is it happening? Is this T1 saying I'm not no? gonna. I'm not going to get excited before we see the lock-in. So the, T, uh, the D plus composition has a ton of priority in the mid lane, and they're going to need that to get Canyon What? Ass. Okay, it's time for Karyas Kalista support. He has been playing <laughs> this. He has been looking for an opportunity to pull it out. Plays on Deft and Kellen. 
Well, Carrier just diving towards Kellen here as the Axes are now going to start swinging forward. And yeah, this is an example of a real problematic situation. Oh, the Draven's not able to do it! Canyon, he knew he was there. Gumushi knew he was dead. Time. Owner's coming down, though, and you can see the pressure starting to mount. Canyon already lying in wait. It's a great little whimsy onto Gumushi, who goes down yet again. Owner now trying to tidy it up, but I don't know whether it's going to be enough. It's a flash forward from Deft. Wait. He is going to go down, and now Faker, with Rift Walk in hand, he sees that blue buff, and he really wants it. He'll pick it up as well. Make it a triple kill for the king of the mid lane. T1, that is exactly what they needed. Freed up Faker and... Oh, well, bit of a battle here towards the bottom side as the ult through from the Zeri does get knocked up as now Gumiushi is just fighting him. Can he actually win it? Oh! Gumiushi locks it down. It's a double kill! And this is what we expected. Area with this Umbral Blade is going to deny so much of what you're going to be able to see. And I want to remind everyone is hold up. Yep, Death is going to skate in. Carrier taking so much damage, he's just dead. The Ornhorn was there just to celebrate. Finally turn herself towards d plus Kia. Now five members stacked up. Zayas, like you were talking about, those shock blasts. They connect onto Showmaker as Faker looking for that flank angle. Canyon going to be the target now. Glacial Prison does come in. The rest of the button's not quite being hit. Good knock up onto Gumiushi, but it doesn't really matter as Faker diving on in. He's very, very low as Death gets over that wall. The shield bow helping him out. Now, gonna have to... As, ooh, maybe catch Faker of Guard it with a Realm Warp. All right, well, Realm Warp is uh, at least on cooldown for a couple of seconds. He uses it to turn immediately onto Showmaker. As with a broken stopwatch, maybe this is an opportunity. The Wild Growth comes in, Deft chasing after him. Can Faker get away is the question. The answer is no. Deft picks up the kill. As the Blue Blades, as Papa coined many moons ago. Let's see whether the cash is going to happen. Faker on a beautiful flank, Canyon. Moving towards the Drake. Can they secure it is the question as Faker moves in. All right, here we go. The Ornhorn going to come through. It's going to get denied as now oh, he tries to get back, but it's actually the Rend that locks down the Ocean Soul. But still, the Sichuan is going to go down low. But look at the Cassidy damage. It is absurd. And this game, ladies and gentlemen, I think is just over. It's going to be the Quadra kill. Or was it? I'm not entirely sure, but it doesn't matter. This game is over. T1 will take another 2-1 and claim the place as the only undefeated team here in the LCK. And I'm pretty sure that it was actually Karia's knockup that set up for the Faker knock -up? there. Not the the rend? No, the, the knockup from throwing. Let's take a look at it here because uh, with the rent being set up here, Kenya can't quite go or try and go for the steal. Really nice cancel there from owner on Kana. And then here, it's actually looking winnable, right? Look at this. Oh, it actually a four is! Four-man knock-up from a Gumayushi face call from Carrier after he secures the Ocean Soul. Down this Baron. It's just uncontestable. There's just not a way to do anything about this. As Canyon's at least going to walk towards it, but he's just not going to get there in time. The Sichuani locks it down really nicely, and now the fight is on. Kana in so much trouble, tries to get himself out, does, at least for the moment. Can he get some knockups? The answer's yes, but does it matter? The answer's absolutely not. As Shock Blaster comes through, Canyon trying to dash his way out. Faker has about a trillion dashes available to himself. The Orn goes down first, is now Deft, trying to get damage where he can. But Jace has already managed to take down yet another target. Deft is just being forgotten as he pushes down this lane. T1, they are turning towards the one open avenue to a game victory. And you like to see it. Eyes on the prize as Canyon just chased all the way to his fountain. He may not even be able to do that. As now Deft is bearing down the wrong direction here towards T1, who are just taking all of his stuff. Oh, Showmaker just thrown into the blender. Speaking of which, Gumiushi now under the turret. He's going to die. But so is Deft. And the game is now done. T1 will wrap it up 2-1. to one.